leaving the picture. Hello, welcome back to the City Stat. I am Josh, and today we are going to show you how we plant our all of our fruit trees out in the ground, what we do, and the practices that we use. I've heard a lot of different things about square holes and circle holes and what is actually better. I'm gonna here to tell you right now that the best shape to actually plant your trees in is a star. Just kidding. It's a circle, guys. It's just a circle. That's the best for planting trees. <laughs> so today we're out here planting this bare root pear tree that we got. It's kind of go match with our other pear tree. We got a little bit of cross pollination because usually with most fruits, even if they are self fruiting, uh, when it comes to the trees, it's better to have two than one. It'll always help produce more if you have a second tree uh, that can pollinate the other one. So we dug our hole. We got a about a three foot round circle hole. I've heard a lot of different things about square holes and circle holes and what is actually better. You know, people say the circle hole will create root bound. They'll circle around inside of there that you need to make a square, you know, hole, a, a flat wall. And I mean, that just seems silly to me because it's basically the same thing except for it'll grow in a corner instead of a circle. So we stick with the old fashioned round hole. <laughs> All right, well, Oski's here. Now the real work can get done. You can get the digging done. <laughs> All right, so typically when I transplant a tree, a bare root tree, I will do it early in the morning or late at night. And that's just a preference thing. Uh, I just don't like to do it in the heat of a day if you're planting it on a hot day. If you have a cool weather day, then it's probably fine. Uh, we're gonna do this one a little bit in the afternoon because we have been rained out. We dug this hole and then it just rained on us for a couple of days. So. We're gonna do it right now, kind of the heat of the day. We're gonna have to make sure we extra water it just to kind of let it, you know, be okay in that, that heat that it's gonna have uh, during the hot point of the day here. So when you get a bare root fruit tree, you're gonna have a graft point. So if you're looking at, there's your root stock, and then here's the actual fruit tree, and it was grafted onto here. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that that graft point stays slightly above your normal soil level. So we're gonna bury it down to about uh, an inch, inch to two inches below uh, where that graft point is. Let me see your shovel. Let's check for level. I think we're pretty good. Right there, sir. All right, fill it in. Yeah, push the dirt in. No, no, push the dirt in. <laughs> no, you're supposed to push the dirt in. Like that. So I heard you guys were having a little picnic. Yeah. Am I invited? Huh? Well, we already ate all the stuff. You already ate all the stuff? Yeah. What did you eat? We ate purple metal, chives, and and we ate some dandelion leaves, and you're just in time for dessert. Wow, right, Oski, you made it in time for dessert. You missed all the good stuff. A little wild foraging going on over here. A little yeah. wild foraging picnic. Oh, I heard her calling in there, so I had to go see what they were up to. So I'm gonna make sure that my tree is in line because I'm doing a straight line kind of orchard type of row of my fruit trees here. Really doesn't matter where you're planting the tree at, but I do have to check that before I start filling this back in all the way. Hey, you wanna help out? Yeah. Come hold this tree straight like that. Okay. It's always nice to have an assistant hold the tree while you fill it in. Big rock band. Oh. <laughs> it's a 90s rock band. Coming out again. That's the trunk, and then they grab these right there. They cut it. Put this one onto it. Came up at a weird angle, so it's got a. All right, so now that you planted your tree, you gotta water it. I put almost four or five gallons of water on this thing. 
Now, new trees are gonna be very water de dependent, desperate. They're gonna really soak up a lot of that water. We wanna give them about a gallon of water every day until they kind of get acclimated, they kind of reaching out, and then you can just let nature do its thing. All right, so you see that we put all of our native soil that we dug out of there back in there. Now, I believe that's the best way. You hear a lot of people say that you should put compost. Uh, some people will say you should just do a 50-50 mix. I say that native soil makes the most sense. If you think about it logically, uh, when trees grow in nature, they drop a seed, you know, the tree will sprout up, and that's in native soil. I think if you put compost or anything in here, what you're doing is giving it all the nutrients that it needs in a small space. Kind of like a goldfish in a small bowl type of thing, right? The goldfish won't grow any bigger, uh, but if you were to put it in a bigger bowl, it would grow bigger. Here, we're putting this tree in the biggest bowl we can, which is straight into the ground with all native soil around it. So as it's looking for nutrients, those roots are gonna push further and further and further out. And uh, you know, eventually this root base is gonna take up a lot of this area. But if we confine it and give it all the nutrients it needs within a small spot, which would be the hole if we were to fill it in with any kind of compost, uh, we're just giving that thing an excuse not to reach out and start pushing those roots out. So I highly suggest you always backfill with native soil. Don't ever put compost in there. Uh, that's just my opinion. You know, obviously there's a ton of different opinions out there. And of course, being that it's my opinion, I think it's the best, right? <laughs> uh, but it's just worked for me in the past. And like I said, it to me, it makes the most sense, being that if you ever see a tree in nature, nobody's going out there and rushing out there and putting a bunch of compost around it as soon as it starts sprouting up, right? So. To me, that makes the most sense. But this is how we do our fruit trees. As you can see, we have a lot of healthy fruit trees. So I think it's doing okay. So you can actually see there's one leaf right there. Leafing out on this thing, which is what you wanna see. You wanna see a little bit of growth on there. So I'm happy, we're gonna be good. This thing should have no problem. Now, I know bare root trees kinda of look underwhelming cause it's literally just like a stick. <laughs> But there's a, a re good reason to use bare fruit trees. It's a lot less stress when you transplant the tree, when you put it out in your ground. If you were to transplant something like this guy here, you know, it's gonna have a lot more stress on it. And bare roots will grow pretty quick. This is a Keats tree that we planted, bare root, two, no, three years ago. And this is what it looks like right now. So you can see it's got some good size on it. It's grown a lot in the past three years. So. I'm not worried about ever putting bare fruits. I know they're underwhelming when you look at it and you go, well, I'm never gonna get anything off of that. There's not even branches on it. Give it some time. It will acclimate to that soil really nicely. It'll acclimate to your microclimate a lot easier and it will be a very productive tree. It'll be a lot stronger tree uh, in the future going forward. I think she's out here foraging for some more dandelion greens, aren't you? <laughs> all right guys that is how we plant our fruit trees here like i said uh i think it's the best way it's just an opinion really but uh you know i go a lot of things off of nature how would nature do it and that's kind of how nature does it right right into native soil uh so that's the way i do it now <laughs> yes right at the base of that tree there's a whole bunch this little tree right here, the apricot tree. See how there's that, that big clump right there? Those are all dandelion leaves. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. That is how we plant fruit trees here at the City Stead. Remember, guys, be bold and grow bold. And as always, we'll see you in that very next video. What is it? It's an edible flower.